Do I have any pets? Uh, yeah. So we have one dog. We have two cats. I have two horses. One potbelly pig. 80, well, 17 chickens and a rooster. Eight goats that are due to kid. And then two pet uh, dwarf goats as well. And one calf. I think that's it, yeah. So we have rather a lot of creatures in our house. <laughs> I'm Pippa Gibbons. I'm an associate professor of food animal medicine surgery at the Texas Tech School of Veterinary Medicine in Amarillo. Okay, I'm so curious about your prop. This is amazing. <laughs> so I couldn't bring a real one, so I brought a uh, stuffed toy go today for two reasons. One is my clinical specialty is small ruminant medicine, so sheep, goats. Um, but also we have these, we have actually like a whole bank of all the different farm animals because our program at Tech is very focused on hands-on skills for our students. I grew up on a sheep, beef and crop farm in Eastern England, hence the accent. Graduated vet school in England and I moved and did my residency at Texas A&M. Um, and Texas became home. I met my husband. We have a joke that we talked about raising goats on our first date, and it was either going to be like make it or break it, because I was like, I don't think I've ever told anybody that I've raised goats before. <laughs> but he also raised goats, so we were like, aww. That's to be. <laughs> we moved to Tennessee for a few years, and then we were desperate to get back to family back in Texas, and so I joined the faculty up here to really promote the two things I love, which is teaching food animal medicine, um, and also in a really hands-on program um, to produce students that will go into food animal medicine and rural practice. So. Uh, so what inspired me to become a veterinarian? So I'm one of those folks that I don't remember wanting to do anything else except be a veterinarian. It was a love of animals, not the love of tractors that I had. And so I've really been really fortunate in my career to follow all the things that I've loved from specializing in a species that I really love, which is sheep, and to doing more teaching qualifications. So if I, you ask myself at 18, because we go to vet school in, at 18 in the UK, whether I knew I was going to be a, teaching food and medicine at a, a vet school I'd, in America, I'd probably say no. But I, food and medicine is the only thing that I've ever wanted to do, is to be a food animal veterinarian. What is my go-to karaoke song? I am a chorister by training, but I will never sing solo, so I don't do karaoke. What? Yeah, so I like to sing, but my kids very clearly tell me not to sing while I'm driving, because <laughs> they think I can't sing. But this morning on the way to school, we sang Raw by Katy Perry, and then this girl is on fire by Alicia Keys, because my daughter is all into like power ballads right now, so. <laughs> How does it feel to be among the first faculty of a school of veterinary medicine? To me, it's really special to be one of the first faculty, and it's fantastic because we get to build it the way we want to build it. So we said, what do we want new graduates to be? Where, what are we going to teach them? How are we going to teach them? What labs are we going to teach them? How are we going to build these labs? And then we get to put it into action, which is really amazing. And administration is really open to us trying new methods of teaching and really pushing the boundaries on teaching, which is really fun. So. Oh gosh, who is the most famous person I've ever met? Probably the most famous person I've ever met is I've met Prince Andrew um, because um, growing up we showed livestock and so our local county show, which is a big show, um, is called the Royal Norfolk Show and so I remember the royal family always come. And I've met Princess Anne when I was in school because um, she visited to open a new building. So I guess the royal family is kind of the most famous people that I've met. Yeah. <laughs> and I love the outdoors. Like I couldn't really work in, a, I do work inside now, <laughs> but the love of the outside and being with the producers is what I love, so. Do you spend any time at Paladero? Yes, we, as much as I can, hike with my kids. They're little, I have a three-year-old and a six-year-old, so they're not quite good hikers yet. But I have taken them in a stroller all the way up to the lighthouse trail, believe it or not. So <laughs> it's possible to do that with a stroller. Oh my <laughs> so my name is Pippa Gibbons, and this has been five minutes with me. I'm a mom, wife, faculty member, veterinarian, and academician at Texas Tech School of Veterinary Medicine. Kids love them. And so, like, if they come to work with me, they're like, Mama, Mama, can you go get us an animal? <laughs> <laughs>